Hi everyone, and welcome to this quick video on Revit 2018.1. What we're going to do here is we're going to look at freeform reinforcement. So it's uh, just one of many new tools that they brought out in this uh, point release. Um, so what I'm going to show you here is the reinforcement of this uh, complex uh, concrete shape here. So this is a, an in-place family, it's a, a foundation, but it could be anything that can host reinforcement bar. Now traditionally, when you place reinforcement, you would normally do this in a two-dimensional view, such as plan, section or elevation, but with the freeform tool, you can now work in three-dimensional space. So you can see here that I've selected the in-place family, and then we have the reinforcement option up on the ribbon, so we'll select that. This is just saying that hooks won't be included in my shape. And now you can see that we have our new freeform rebar tool. And also here, uh, we're going to use surface distribution for this. Now, one of the nice things with this command is you can see that we have select multiple on. If I take that off, I would have to use traditional selection methods in Revit. But I want this new feature on. What I can do here is I can start by picking the host surface. So this is the surface that is going to host the reinforcement bar. I then press space bar, and you'll notice my tooltip has now changed, so it now asks me to select the starting surface. So this is going to be where the reinforcement starts, space bar again. Now you'll notice it asks me for the ending surface, space bar again. And then finally here, we can select our distribution. So in this case, I'm going to say maximum spacing of 300. And once I've done that, I press enter to confirm the selection. You can now see that Revit has placed out the reinforcement. So we'll do another face. So we'll do it the opposite direction perhaps here. So there's going to be my um, hosting surface again, space bar. Um, now we want to pick this as the starting surface, space bar. This is the ending surface down here. Once again, we've got maximum spacing set of 300 and then enter to finish the command. Okay, so let's now select all that reinforcement bar. We'll make it solid in the view, like so. Um, what we'll also do here, let's just change the uh, grade and, and size of the rebar. So perhaps we'll thicken this up to, say, H20. And obviously here, you can see that I have um, a, a kind of a clash between the reinforcement here. So, of course, we can use edit constraints with this new tool as well. So if we select edit constraints, we'll put in minus 20 to set the uh, bars back there. And you can now see I've got a, a fairly nice um, structural layout. Now what's quite nice with this is if we go ahead and now take a look at a bar bending schedule, you can now see that we have the member, in this case it's an RC wall, then it's picked up the bar mark, and you'll notice here we've marked the bars. Um, so we have varying bars, so for, from ranging from A to R in this case, and then I've got the opposite bars, uh, which are bar mark 2. And of course we have the A size for all of these. And notice a new feature in um, the RC tools now for workshop instructions to allow us to keep that bar straight, so it will deflect on fixing. Yeah, which is quite quite interesting. Now all of this will be completely parametric. So if I go back and start to edit the family, yeah, so if we increase the height of the wall, you can see instantly the reinforcement uh, updates and changes. And of course, if I go back and perhaps edit some of the profiles again, we should see some changes there. So perhaps what we do here is we'll um, have a, a bit of a further step back in there. As soon as we finish the model, you can see, again, all the rebar updates and changes. So, very, very useful tool. Quite a nice addition to the standard reinforcement tools within Revit. Okay, hope you found that interesting. Um, thanks very much. Speak to you soon.